Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. I've got a video today for you that is going to be uncut. Because usually on Saturday we upload a very well edited, beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece for you. Masterpiece for you. Today's video is uncut. And what I got for you today is uh, somebody reached out to me last week via Freedom Breeder that had an interesting snake to look at and an interesting story of snakes to look at involving um, blue-eyed leucistic animals, a potentially new trait in ball pythons. And I said, I told him that I would share with you guys all of the things that I saw and all the pictures he sent me and the story and see what you guys' opinion is. As I look at those pictures, I'll be honest, as I look at those pictures a little more, I look at the own... Uh, the uh, blue-eyed leucistic animals that we produced here a couple weeks back and you know the fact that I can see a little bit of eye striping going on uh, you probably can't see it in this shot on the camera here but I mean you can see a little bit of like head pattern show up on on this animal even though it's a blue-eyed leucistic animal and it's you know they're not always pure white there's sometimes some little pattern that can be seen but so what this guy had was a fairly what do you call it, a reproducible trait and uh and it's showing up with red eyes and some very obvious white, like pixelated pattern coming through that you can definitely see in the pictures. And so I just thought, I, I told him that I would share that with you guys so that you guys can all give your opinions on A, whether you think it's a heritable trait and B, what you think of it, period. Now, as I took a closer look at these pictures, um, the iris appears to still be very light blue, so not not the same dark blue that a lot of these blue-eyed leucistics yet, but still still blue, and looking like the pupil may have been reflecting uh, the light and looking red for that reason, like like these do as well. But then I had him send me a picture without flash, and those eyes still looked red, kind of like a an albino mouse, if you will. You know, if you take a look at a full albino mouse, the eyes are just always pinkish red, whether there's light shining on them or not. So anyway, all, all the pictures are going to be up here on the screen as you guys are listening to this, and I'm going to share with you the story about uh, what is going on with this pairing as far as what he sent me here. So it's second generation, so it's so he's had this pop up in two, in, in the second generation now. The original pairing was a lesser male to a lesser female, uh, the female has passed away tragically, uh, so by the time the offspring were old enough to breed, I paired brother to sister, female being the one who originally had the pixelated pattern with red eyes. The male was a platinum lesser, both from the same clutch. Their offspring produced an identical match to the female that was first generation pixelated pattern with the red eyes. And so far, both of the pixelated offspring are female. I believe they received this genetic trait from the original female that I tragically lost. And so that's, that's it right there. That's, that's the story. And all of the pictures have been going by here on the screen. Um, so this video is going to be a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be apparently. But that, that's it. If you guys give your opinions uh, down below in the comments about what you think about this trait, if you think it's heritable, if you think it's uh, uh, just another case of Lukeism popping up, or if it, since it's something that's been showing in all the offspring and, and apparently provable as far as that pixelated pattern and the, and the red eyes, just again, comments down below. That's what I'm asking for. Thank you to everybody who has uh, jumped out on Morph Market and has gotten... Uh, yourselves ahead of the game on, on these blue-eyed leucistic animals. I do have potentially one more, although there's somebody, there's some folks here locally that are interested, so if they come through, then maybe all of our blue-eyed animals are gone now. Thank you guys for all your interest. Apparently next season, we need to be producing more blue-eyed leucistic animals because apparently we just can't produce enough to make, to meet the demand of folks that are coming in looking for them. So uh, thank you guys again. Go check out our Morph Market page. There's a new clutch that will be uploaded this, this, this weekend. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we hope you had fun with us last night on the live stream. We'll be doing those live streams every week on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And we'll see you this weekend for another video. Aloha.